Third, between inflation, supply chain issues, and an economy recovering from the pandemic, this Hunger Action Month is more important now than ever. NBC Local 33's Rachel Riley tells us how families in our area are dealing with these issues. More boxes are needing to be filled after the price of food and the cost of living continues to rise, sending people back to the food bank lines. They're not equipped to handle it, so what do they, what do, they do? Right. How do they put food on the table? They look to us for assistance. It being the steep price jump in simple food products and fuel prices. The impact of inflation has been significant on many people, the, the working poor, people who are struggling to put food on the table in the first place. Jane Wright with Feeding America says what makes now different than in 2020 is less federal assistance plus the war in Ukraine. Things began to creep up, inflation, fuel costs, everything started in getting more difficult economically. The key for us is we're having to face so much more additional costs to be able to buy the same amount of food we've bought in the past. The need is greatly outpacing the supply. Packages of food are smaller, but the price is greater. So now food banks are starting to get creative. Share purchases between food banks in the state, trying to work with them to acquire product to maximize our joint opportunity. More people, more food and higher prices. Manning says right now he needs a village. Rally our neighbors, you know, our community neighbors who are in a situation that they can help. If you would like to show your support, the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank has several ways and you can find that on our website, brproud.com. From Baton Rouge, Rachel Riley, NBC Local 33 News. Well, the Bell of Baton 